Hey, this is Alan Sarge. I've had some folks ask me, Sarge, what's the two pistols you always carry in your videos? Well, my two constant companions are two pistols that I'm very comfortable with and I'm very proficient with. Now, you may not like them. You may hate them. Personally, I love them. So these are what they are. This is my Judge Poly Public Defender. Shoots 45 long and 410 two and a half inch shells. Great for the wilderness, doesn't rust. For me, it's been very dependable. For me, I'm very proficient with it. So this is my up close and personal. I love this weapon, $379. This is my Smith & Wesson SD9 VE. It's basically a Glock knockoff. This is a 15 round magazine, shoots nine millimeter. I like nine millimeter because you still get it fairly cheap and I love to shoot, so I shoot it a lot. This gun is very dependable. Uh, I'm familiar with Glock. I've worked with Glock extensively on the police department when I was an officer. I was actually a firearm instructor for our police department, so I've worked with Glocks a lot. Glocks are great guns. This is basically a knockoff Glock. What I like about this gun better than the Glock is it's two to $300 cheaper. So if you're on a budget, this is a great gun. Check them out. I like it. It's very dependable, very lightweight, very accurate right out of the box. For my long distance issues, I personally prefer a bolt action rifle. Now, I've worked with M16s, AR-15s in the military and on the police department. Great weapons, but anything with a lot of moving parts, you may have issues if you're having to be out in the wilderness a lot. What I like is my Mossberg MVP 308. This takes a M16 style magazine. It's not a dedicated magazine, so some of these are uh, P-Mags, you can get uh, Magpul, you can get them in 5, 10, 20, 30 round magazines, $35 or cheaper per magazine. Great gun. Uh, put a scope on it and they're awesome. I got this one because I wanted a rifle with both open sights and a scope. I have a scope for this, but I took it off because if you buy one of these, take this rail off and put some Loctite on it because they will wobble on you. But other than that, I love this. It's a great gun, works for me. I have shotguns, I have several 22s, rifles and pistols. Because my mindset is, I survive. My family survives. I don't get caught up in this whole romantic pipe dream of some huge Rambo Red Dawn revolution. I don't get caught up in that, guys. I want to be more prepared to survive, provide for my family. Get out, learn your local game, what's in your area, your local water sources, how to build fire, how to build shelter, how to provide for your family, how to protect your family. Because even though you're not a directly involved in one of these revolutions, you will be affected. The government can shut down the infrastructure, water, electric, gas, fuel. They'll stop fuel to keep people from moving from state to state together. So you need to be prepared for these things. I like to prepare for earthquakes, uh, financial collapses, things that, that could actually happen, things that are real. Uh, a big revolution against the government, that's a no-win scenario for me. I don't, I'm not getting involved in that. I'm preparing to survive, to provide for my family. And these are just a few of the weapons that I personally like. Like I said, my two constant companions, I love them. My shotguns, my 22s, I love those too. But these two pretty much do what I want to within 25 yards. So always be prepared, always be ready because you will have to survive. No matter the scenario, you will have to survive. So don't be a victim and don't get caught up in the nonsense. Prepare to survive. If you prepare, prepare to survive, train with your weapon and learn those basic skills, those will carry over if you do get drugged into some situation. So, just be prepared to survive. Just my opinion. I'm Helen Sarge. I'm out.